Welcome back to the program. Well, last night, the Assistant Treasurer, Josh Frydenberg, went on television and said that he felt that gay marriage was inevitable and that he thinks that his party should endorse a conscience vote. He was slapped down this morning on parliamentary doors by one of his backbench colleagues. He joins us now live from Parliament. Josh Frydenberg, thanks for being there. Nice to be with you, Peter. Now, I'm led to believe that you're on the phone just before coming in on the studio. What have the PMO said you're allowed to say? <laughs> uh, look, uh, you know, this talk about gay marriage and the conscience votes uh, been around the parliament for some time. Uh, my position's been very well known. Zed's a good friend. Um, I've always said that we should have a conscience vote because people bring uh, you know, different views to this issue based on either the religious backgrounds or personal histories and experiences. And if we do have a conscience vote, I've said that I'll support a, a change uh, towards uh, uh, legalising gay marriage. But right now, the party's position has been to be between marriages between a man and a woman, and hopefully we'll have a conscience vote and people can express their, uh, their formal views then. All right, let's just have a listen to what Zed Zazelja, uh, your friend and colleague, Senator for ACT, had to say this morning on Doors, and then I'll just get your reaction. We have had a long-standing party position on this, uh, and that party position uh, shouldn't change, uh, and I don't believe it will change. Uh, I think it's also important uh, that where we do have a long-standing party position uh, that uh, ministers uh, support that party position publicly. Uh, I don't think we should have a situation uh, where ministers uh, go against party policy. But I'm not going to target any one individual, but we did see, we did see comments last night uh, on Q&A, uh, and as I say, I don't think that that's helpful. You're not going to target any one individual, but you were the only Liberal on Q&A last night, uh, Josh Frydenberg. He's targeting new plan and simple. He's got a point, doesn't he? I mean, you know I'm in favour of gay marriage. I've talked about it a lot over the years, written about it as well. But the issue here is he's right. You're a minister. The party position is what it is. A conscience vote hasn't been decided by the party room. You're pre-empting the party room. Well, the Prime Minister's made it very clear that on this issue... Uh, if there's to be a change, it's going to follow a debate in the party room and it will be the party room that will decide whether we go down the path of a conscience but you've vote. But you've, I... you've said it inev it's inevitable, which is you pre-empting the party room. He's got a point, the Senator. <laughs> well, that's my view. Um, I think uh, that views on our side of politics have evolved, just like they have on the other side of politics too. Uh, we've been quite cynical about Bill Shorten and his timing. And as I said last night on Q&A, uh, it might have been Bill Shorten's bill on gay marriage that he introduced, but it's not Bill Shorten's issue. And I agree and with you on that, Josh Frydenberg. I agree with you on that, but I, I've got to ask mm. you this. I mean, look, I hope you're right. I hope the Liberal Party moves to a conscience vote. But what do you do as a front bencher, for example, if you have this debate later this year, in the months to follow, and if they don't, uh, if, if support is on Senator Zazelgic's side rather than yours, uh, and you've already come out and said it's inevitable and said that you want a conscience vote, do you have to resign from the front bench? Look, I, <laughs> I think we'll cross that bridge uh, when we come to it in terms of the party room vote, because I've heard a number of my colleagues who strongly support the existing definition of gay marriage say that they actually support a conscience vote because they acknowledge that you know different uh, people bring you know different views to this issue in the words of the prime minister decent people differ on this and that's why we have to respect uh, both views uh, that are expressed on this issue but look we've been cynical about bill shorten's motives he was obviously running into uh, some problems at his Labor conference. Then you had the, I the Irish referendum. I think that has changed the dynamic somewhat. And it's inevitable this issue will come before the party room. I do think it will lead to a conscience vote and we'll go from there. Well, I hope you're right. I think you'll be proven right. But I tell you what, you are sticking your head up <laughs> above the premises a little bit there. You've got to be careful. Josh Frydenberg, appreciate you joining us. Thanks for your time. <laughs> Thanks very much. All right, now, of course, there is an interest rate announcement later today. Sky News and the Sky News Business Channel will have complete coverage of today's RBA decision on rates. All economists surveyed by Sky News Business believe that rates will remain on hold, but, of course, they've said that before and been wrong. So we will see when the decision is announced at 2.30...